Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to use and export data from the TDR Digital Soil Moisture Reader Sensor, the ICRD1200. First, some features of the meter. The ICRC1200 comes with an included TDR sensor which simply plugs into the display. The display features the M12 connection for the TDR sensor, a micro USB port for charging and data export, an extra large LCD, the power button, four soft keys below the LCD. The functions of these buttons will change and will have the current function listed above them on the LCD. The home key and the read sensor key to perform a measurement. To get started, plug the sensor cable into the Aclima sensor reader. Tighten the lock nut by turning it clockwise until it is tight. Press the power key to switch the unit on. The high contrast LCD details a host of easy to understand information. Next, we will run through each of the soft key options from the home screen. These are radio, sensor, data, and settings. Starting with radio. To turn on the GPS, press the soft button under radio. Another screen will appear with one menu option on the soft keys. This is GPS on. Press this button to turn the GPS on. Once on, you will see a stopwatch counter run as the reader synchronizes with GPS satellites overhead. Note, the system time on your reader might be updated by the satellites, so you might need to adjust the time settings manually after connecting with GPS. It usually takes 10 to 15 seconds to sync up and acquire a signal. This could vary depending on your geographic location and other factors such as cloud overhead, obstructions such as buildings, trees and dense foliage. Try to have a direct line of sight with the sky when turning the GPS on. Once the reader is synced up with the GPS satellite, you will see the GPS coordinates and an estimated accuracy given in meters. At the same time, you can now see the soft key below has changed to GPS off. You can switch the GPS off at any time by pressing this button. Press the home key to return to the main menu. The next soft key option from the home screen is sensor. To ensure that your sensor is properly connected to the reader, press the sensor button on the home screen. Press detect. An address, model and the serial number will be detected and show up on the screen. The length of the sensor's waveguide rods, the hardware and firmware versions will also display. Press the home key to return to the main menu. Skipping data for now, we'll run through the settings, soft key. Press settings to enter into the general settings submenu. Four new options will appear. The first is beep. Pressing beep enters a new screen with two soft key options. Pressing VOL adjusts the key beep volume between low, high and off. Pressing the mode key changes the sound mode from button press to reading, button and reading and none or mute. After entering your settings, press home. Returning to the settings submenu, the second soft key option is sleep. Each press of the sleep key adjusts the automatic off timer on the screen. Choose the desired switch off time. The third option is 12 24 hour. Press this to adjust the display between 12 or 24 hour time. The fourth soft key option is set time. Pressing this opens an additional page where you can manually set the time zone and daylight savings time. The two first keys adjust the UT offset up and down by one. The third key adjusts up in 0.15 increments. And the last key allows you to switch daylight savings time on or off. To take a reading, press read sensor at any time while on the home screen. Within a matter of seconds, a reading will appear. The screen lists the water content, temperature, permittivity, conductivity, and pore water EC, their readings, and the measuring unit, with the time and date of the measurement above. Within the sensor reading screen, three new options appear on the soft keys. These are analysis, stats, and show waveform. If you press the analysis button, you'll be presented with the reading analysis screen, which can be useful for indicating the fill level of the soil's field capacity. You can see the display of water content, water fill level, water needed to refill, and refill depth and broad length. Note that the thresholds must be set depending on the soil type. You can return to the reading page by pressing the show reading button 
or continue to set thresholds by pressing the thresholds key. This screen displays the selected soil type, field capacity, managed allowable depletion and calculated managed water. Pressing change ST brings up the available soil type calibrations. Press the two centre soft keys to scroll through the options. Press select to save your soil type or cancel to return to the threshold menu without making a change. When your soil type is selected, the device automatically sets an approximate field capacity, allowable depletion and the range between MAD and FC. However, the field capacity and managed allowable depletion settings can be manually overridden and edited by pressing each respective change button. To manually override the calculated field capacity, press change FC. The first two soft keys on this screen will adjust the field capacity in increments of plus or minus one. Press the third key to adjust in 0.1 increments, then press done to save the adjusted field capacity value. To manually override the calculated managed allowable depletion, press change MAD. Again, the first two soft keys adjust the value in increments of plus or minus one. The third key adjusts in 0.1 increments, then press done to save the adjusted value. Once your sensor threshold has been set, press done. The device will return to the reading analysis page. Press show reading to return to the most recent reading. The next option again on this page is stats. This displays the statistics of all your collected parameters, including the last reading, average reading, the maximum and the minimum, with the total number of readings listed above. To disregard previous readings and begin a new set, press the clear button. To return to the main reading page, press show reading. The last option on the sensor reading screen is show waveform. Pressing the show waveform key generates a waveform of the latest reading within about five seconds. Press the home key to return to the main screen. The last key on the home screen to detail is data. Pressing data opens the data submenu. This menu provides you with the memory usage information. This must be at least 1% to show up and the current output selection. Pressing tag gives you control to group your readings within a specified identification number. Use the center keys to increase or decrease the value or press the left soft key to reset. The data output option lets you select preferred data output. Each press of the button toggles through the options of CSV only, CSV and binary, or just binary. The data will then be able to be transferred to your micro USB drive in the preferred format when it is plugged into the reader. The third Arrays Logs button allows you to erase all logged data, but requires you to confirm by pressing a further yes or no button. The Arrays All button enables you to erase all log and configuration data, also with the further confirmation of yes or no. Press the home key to return to the main measurement screen. To retrieve your data for viewing on a computer, insert the included thumb drive into the micro USB port on the side of the sensor reader. When you insert the USB, the data will automatically begin to synchronize. Do not disconnect the thumb drive until the reader indicates the synchronization is complete. Now the USB can be inserted into a computer to complete the data export. There are two ways that you can open your information. The first, insert the USB into your computer, then open a climber reader view, which can be found on the thumb drive. Select open measure CSV file, search again for the USB drive on your computer, then open the file named a climber. Open the file named RD1200, Open the file named data, open the file named measure underscore and your device's serial number with the most recent date. Your data will then appear in the Climber Reader View software. Alternatively, you can open your data straight away in Excel. Simply return to the same file, search for the USB drive on your computer, open the file named Climber RD1200, then data, Double click to open the file measure, underscore your device's serial number as an Excel file. Here you can share, save and graph your collected information as you usually would. The second Excel file under this labeled waveform has all of the same information with the addition of the waveform time in picoseconds. 
and that's how straightforward it is to set up, use and export data from the TDR Digital Soil Moisture Sensor, the ICRD1200. For more information on this soil moisture sensor, speak with an instrument choice scientist. Call 1300 737 871 or email customer-service at instrumentchoice.com.au. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.